past four years. I think the first time you played them here, there was a snowstorm. There's like 2,000 people here, and now sellout people. That's crazy. We won by 20. <laughs> That's what I think is uh, so miraculous about that night. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it, we've come a long way. We have. And uh, like I said, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to even be here. Um, it's, just been a, it's been a long journey that, that you just want to continue on and take it just step by step, day by day. They're kind of the bullies of the Big Ten, if you will. I mean, they are the flagship basketball program, and they have been under Izzo. Um, what would it mean for your program? I mean, is it a resume-building type of game, potentially? Oh, yeah. Um, I think whenever you get a win against a Michigan State team, it's always good for your resume, um, whether it's home or away. Um, so we definitely have to – we definitely come in there with that, with that mindset. Um, anyway, and like I, like I said, we, we, it's important also because it's the next game, man, because – they're also in contention for a Big Ten title, too. So it's a, a game when you get down in the, into the latter part of the season that you, you're going to wish you had if you don't get it. So um, we might as well try and take care of it while it's in our hands and not leave it in too many other teams' faces, if you understand. Is, is, there, a, is there an approach that, that I mean, because you guys have always talked, oh, it's the next game, everything's the next game. Mm -hmm. is, is it important to have kind of an even keel about tomorrow? Yeah, you don't want to make it too big and then, you know, you get down and on yourself and on your team. And, you know, you don't want to lack any confidence. Um, but it's, I think every, I got, I'll be honest, I think every game is important. Um, some a little more than others. I think y'all is what you're looking right. for. And it's only because it's a, like you said, it's a, a, a resume building team and also because it's a team at the end of the year, like I said, he's going to be with, there with you. And he's gonna, like I said, you're going to look back on these games. Did you win them or lose them? And especially when you're at home, you want to take care of home court. So they're more important you when know, you break down the intangibles of each game in that sense. But um, this game isn't any more important, I don't think, than the Northwestern game. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a game where I think a team that's beat you with the last two or three Big Ten tournaments, yeah. and yeah. last year's was. In the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, and it's been pretty excruciating loss. I mean, last year's, I don't think I've seen a tougher loss for a team to accept than what you guys had to deal with. Yeah, uh, we watched the film of that game uh, yesterday, and uh, I think everybody was uh, pretty upset, you know, so we still have that in the back of our minds uh, what happened last year and not wanting that same feeling. So I think. We definitely take that into consideration when we take the court to Marisa too. So was it one of those things where when you say you guys were upset, like it was the exact same feelings you felt that night just reliving it, or was it just a different kind of It was anger? a different kind of upset. You can, you can look back and, and reflect without any anger. You know? um, it wasn't it wasn't like how it was that the, the, the night it happened. So, uh, <laughs> So I think from that standpoint, it was, it was upsetting, but it was something we could sit there and actually watch and learn. From, you know, I, had to, I hadn't watched that game until then, so uh, yeah, I think it's two different types of upsets. Where did you learn from it? Um, you got to gotta be the tougher team, you know. Um, I, don't, I think they out tough just the last mm, more, the more latter part of the second half. Um, cause we had plenty of chances to win the game. And, we weren't making shots. Uh, we had some key, uh, some key turnovers and uh, empty possessions and stuff like that. And, and then they started. Then they finally started hitting shots and, and they started scoring. So it makes it, it puts a lot of pressure on your defense when you're not scoring to to try and stop another good team that hadn't been scoring and now they're starting to get going. So um, they have a lot of weapons. So, uh, it was at that point in time tough to, to try and take them all. Out. They still have a lot of weapons. I mean, Harris and Appling are two of the – if they form one of the best backcourts in the country. So um, trying to – you can't really stop them as much as slow them down and irritate them at times. What, how, how much of a challenge is that going to be for you on both ends of the floor? Oh, it's going to be a, a, a big challenge. Probably the most challenging yet uh, outside Ohio State maybe. And Ohio State is more defensively challenging. Well, on our offense, mm -hmm. their defense. Uh, like you said, it's going to be on both sides uh, tomorrow night. So um, we just got to take it going there with the right approach and, and play tough and, and let them. Um, I think you gotta, that's the team you got to jump on early like we did in the Big Ten tournament. That's exactly how you wanted to start. Mm -hmm. And how you, we were. And here. Yeah, this is the, we were in position right where we wanted to be, you know, and we just let it slip away. So um, I think it's a more experienced team, a, a tougher team mentally um, and just better, you know, mm -hmm. than last year. So. 
Um, I think if we can jump on them early and, and then just keep playing aggressive throughout the whole the whole game and not kind of play not to lose or just try and slow the game down and run some time and just play and do what we do, I think we'll be all right. There's not going to be any mercy for them for their injuries, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I was injured last year. They didn't take any. Yeah. Um, but they slowed down on Mike and them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, it definitely won't be any remorse this way. <laughs> and I don't, they, would, they don't want it. Yeah. There's always a lot of coach that's going to be the first yeah. to tell you, oh, we lost the game because this guy didn't play or that mm -hmm. guy didn't play. You know, that's, that's just how the game is. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, you put your chips in. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose.